Well, hello there, everybody. Brandon here coming to you again. So I'm continuing on with my summer series of paintings here. Some decor for the house. Got the swimming sea turtle back there. If you didn't see that video, it's up on the channel. But for this one, we're going to have a little walkthrough tutorial of this little starfish here laying on the beach. So if you want to see the process for getting that one done, let's have a look. What I have here is a six by eight canvas and I'm starting with a one inch flat wash brush and I'm going into a mix here of this is blue with a touch of raw umber in it, uh, phthalo blue that is, a touch of raw umber, a little bit of white to give us just kind of this grayish looking color here that's going to be where my water is. So I'm just kind of getting a basic reflection color, <clears throat> getting a basic reflection color in. Now I've put in a little bit more raw umber in a couple places here that's going to be kind of some um, shadows, or not really shadows, but areas in the wave where you can see through the wave to the dirt underneath as it's kind of starting to break over. Now I'm putting mostly raw umber in here, uh, a little bit of yellow ochre to yellow it out a little bit, touch of titanium white. And then as I move further away here, a little bit more white, a little bit more yellow ochre. Now I'm just going to take the end of this flat wash brush here, touch it into a mix of yellow ochre and a little titanium white, and I'm starting to tap the end of it here uh, to create sand textures, which is going to be sand on this beach. And I'm keeping it a lot tighter um, packed in here as it's further away where you'd be able to see less um, shadow from the grain I guess is what I want to use for the sand and then as I get closer to the foreground here um, I'll allow a little bit more gaps in my spacing here as I'm tapping in these colors um, just to create the illusion that the foreground here is indeed closer to you you can see a little bit more of the shadows that are there as opposed to stuff that's further away and then I'm ultimately going to end up with an area just right of center here where I'm going to brighten things up to have what is a brighter reflection off the sand from the light source. So here in this middle I'm adding some titanium white and then kind of fading it out as it goes to the right and the left. So the brightest area is going to be just right of center here. And then as I work away from that point it'll darken up. So I'm going to come back and forth here a couple of passes where I'm adding a little bit more titanium white into this area and then I'm just kind of tapping it and dotting it out, fading it away from this point here again so I'm creating a brighter area. Right now I'm using a small 10 aught spotter brush here to dot in just a couple of individual bright highlight reflections of sand here closer to the foreground. back to my wash brush here to continue my highlight here in the middle again just kind of fading some of this just kind of scrubbing in a little bit of a, a highlight color of titanium white and a tiny bit of yellow ochre and then trying to fade it and blend it off and ultimately I'm going to put the starfish that I'm going to paint here right in this area so it doesn't have to be perfect in the center because I'm going to cover some of that up Now I'm going to work on this water here, so I'm bringing in um, white and a touch of raw umber, a little bit of the yellow ochre that I've been dealing with, and just kind of working um, basically reflections, lighter areas and darker areas of this water color here where it looks like some waves are coming in, and I'm not making them real sharp out there in the distance because I want to give the illusion that's a little bit out of focus back there using a little more titanium white here along the front end to create what looks like a wave that's going to just be crashing in. These are tiny waves now. This is nothing like a big beach. This is a wave that in real life is maybe 
two inches tall so it's just right there on the edge of where the water is kind of laughing in on the beach I'm kind of finishing now my brighter area here that's just right of center where there's a highlight on the sand Now I've gone into raw umber, a touch of black here, and I'm putting what's like a shaded edge right underneath where this little water is coming in. Just where it's starting to curl up so there's a little bit of shadowed effect underneath. And then to kind of blend that into the wave, I am adding a little bit of that watercolor back in with the phthalo blue, the raw umber, and just kind of blending that edge into the water a little bit so it's not such a hard edge between the water and that shadow. I'm creating a little bit of highlights along the front edge of these closest areas of wave that's coming in. Just a little touch of titanium white with a hint of that raw umber yellow ochre in it just kind of touching up some of these front end waves that are closest to us. Now adding tiny little areas of shadow underneath them, giving the illusion that they're starting to just maybe turn over. Again, these are tiny little waves, several inches. Now I've moved into outlining my starfish here. This is raw umber and a touch of red, a little bit of yellow ochre in here. I'm just kind of getting my basic shape. And then there's going to be a shadow underneath here. So now I have added in a good bit of phthalo blue, touch of black to create this shadow under here. And I'm going to lighten that color up a little bit to where the shadow's edge is not quite as defined. So um, almost the same color as my water um, base color was there with a grayed out kind of phthalo blue raw umber mix and then the shadow is a little darker and more defined as it's right underneath where the starfish is laying. That shadow starts to fade away as it moves away from the starfish here. Now I'm just going to color in this starfish with a mix of mostly raw umber, touch of red again just getting me a nice dark base to work with. Now I'm going to come back with some highlight passes here. I've added a little bit more of that yellow ochre in the mix. I'm using a, um, a half inch angled brush now. Just to start to define some areas of highlight. Now I've moved into a little uh, spotter brush again. And I've gone into a mix of yellow ochre, a touch of red in it. I'm starting to highlight the tops of this starfish here. Just random little splotches here because they're kind of a, a grainy looking texture on these things. And I'm just going to vary my intensities of color here and add my brightest highlights along the top edges to define the shape. using a liner brush now to get some of those smaller areas along the base of each one of these little arms of the starfish. They have some areas that small little details in there that I'm just kind of touching in with the end of this liner brush. Now just drawing in some individual pieces of highlight along the tops of each edge of these arms. Again, put my brightest stuff along the highest points here to define out the shape of this starfish. Keep your brightest stuff along the very top edges of each arm and in the center of it. You can build these layers up to give it a 3D shape. Add a little bit more of my yellow ochre back in the mix just to put a little bit more color in on this.
finishing out again with my brightest highlights along these top edges to just finish the overall shape and then this starfish will be done. So there is my finished product of this starfish laying here on the beach. Just a nice, quick, simple project. Hope you enjoyed watching along with that one. Till next time, happy painting, everybody.